What's up guys? It has been ages since I've posted a video and I thought I have to get a video out today um, talking about shoulder mobility and show you three things that I've been doing to really loosen up my shoulder, keep my shoulder blade in a fixed position. So I've been training, I've been doing boxing, I've been lifting weights, I've been um, doing some woodwork projects. So I've really been doing a lot and really been using my shoulder. Some days it gets a little bit stiff like you can definitely feel your TOS side is a little bit weaker than your other side. Certain times, like if I'm doing weight training, the muscles are a little bit stiffer compared to the right side. And it doesn't feel sore like, like a TOS pain or pinching. It just feels like I've worked that muscle a little bit harder. I've been doing so much and the more I've been doing, I haven't been feeling that extra stiffness in the muscle. So there's a fine line between the overtraining and feeling the TOS flare-ups, um, I don't get the TOS flare-ups anymore, but the tightness and if you're still struggling with TOS or frozen shoulder or a winging of the scapula, you'll know that doing anything is pretty difficult and finding that balance to get to that point where you can actually get stronger is, is like one of the main struggles. So you may be feeling a lot better, but when you're actually doing something, you're feeling a lot worse and either having a flare-up or your muscles tightening up again. So it's very difficult, but being static limits you so much because if you're not moving that muscle, which is natural, you're in pain, so you're keeping that shoulder tight and close to you and you don't want to move it too much because you know if you outstretch, you're going to cause all these other, other problems and be sore. So being static actually keeps that muscle so fixated in one position that when you are moving, it's overextending or you're doing something that you're not used to and that muscle twitches and spasms up because now you're, not, you're doing something that it's not used to. So slowly, every single day, just do something, roll on the ball, stretch a little bit. Even if you're just sitting and you, you're externally rotating your arm, stretching out, squeezing your shoulder blades together, just getting that rotator cuff, getting that whole shoulder joint and scapula moving a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you three things that I've been doing to really stretch it. Now, these three exercises are pretty intense. And when I started doing them, I was very stiff and very sore because it really opens up that shoulder joint and it really gets that shoulder joint mobile. And you're going to feel the weaknesses in your neck and in your shoulder blade and your shoulder. And if you are still struggling severely with TOS and winging of the scapula, just take it very easy and see what you can do and maybe if you're struggling that badly go to the doctor and say maybe show him the video and show him the exercises and say this is what you what you're wanting to do and uh, if it's too bad then don't do it but if you're at that point where you feel like you can move and you can attempt it try it but as I say in every single video do it slowly carefully and controlled you don't want to be forcing it and the next day you're in pain and you're like oh this doesn't work and you you never do it again so i'm going to jump into that and uh, explain what i'm doing and then hopefully i can just uh, add to the stretches that you're already doing and really help you with your shoulder mobility so let's jump into it okay so the first exercise and stretch that you're going to be doing is with one hand you're going to grab your lat and closer up towards the armpit and you'll feel as you move the arm up and down and holding with your other hand you're holding your scapula down in place so as you lift your arm as you can see i'm feeling around you got to move and feel where the tight tender spot is you can see from my face the pain and that's the exact trigger point that you want to be finding to keep the shoulder blade in place while you're lifting your arm up and down now don't go too high, just go to where you can, but make sure you're squeezing quite hard and move around. Find all those different muscles, but keep the shoulder blade in place by holding those muscles down and hold it as tight as you can and then lift up and get that stretch going. The second exercise that you want to be doing, more of a stretch, um, is you're going to find the front of your shoulder and you'll feel exactly where that is by the tenderness. And with your other arm, you want to come across your body and externally rotate your arm. So you're pushing firmly with your, your thumb into that. You can use any finger and you just want to move across the body. 
This next one, using a rubber band, you wanna grab the band right at the end and in an arc, you wanna go around the back of your body. Now, a lot of people won't be able to do this stretch because it is very tight and if your shoulder joint is very static and you haven't been stretching, this is gonna be very, very difficult. So just find out from your doctor first before doing this. You don't wanna cause more of a compression, but this just really opens up that shoulder joint and you can actually feel the blood flowing and you've got a lot more mobility by doing this. So you're just stretching out and slow and controlled. You just wanna come behind your body all the way down and slowly all the way up. Now take your time focusing. You wanna keep your body straight. You wanna make sure that your shoulders are aligned and just keep breathing. Okay, this next one, you're gonna externally rotate your thumbs out, stand against the wall, and you're gonna glide your arms from 90 degrees all the way up. Now you wanna keep your shoulders touching the wall. You want your thumbs to keep touching the wall and you just wanna glide up. Now the tighter you are, the more it's gonna pull back and you're gonna find that it resists, but that's a good stretch just to keep yourself open. The final one I'm gonna show you is using the rubber band again and you basically just externally rotating your thumbs again grabbing the rope from the band from behind you and simply squeezing up you're just lifting your arms up and you can see that it activates your shoulders it activates your rhomboids your traps and it just gets that pulling back of the scapula so those are the few exercises that I wanted to share with you. Just remember to keep it safe, do it very slowly and very controlled, breathe and hopefully it gets you more mobile and helps you with your recovery and your mobility.